श्री श्री राधा श्याम सुंदर जी की जय श्री श्री गौर निताई की जय श्री नृसिंह भगवान की जय गौर प्रेमा आनंद ऑल ग्लोरीज टू देश मुंडी वोटिस ऑल ग्लोरीज टू देश मुंडी वोटिस ऑल ग्लोरीज टू देश मुंडी वोटिस ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री श्री गुरु एंड गौरांग जय श्री गौर विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वतदेव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चादेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय क्वचित अशेष दोष निषदना पुरुष विशेष तद्वर्ण गुण निर्मित मति सुवर्ण उपादित सती अग्नि काम कातर उन्मुख पिशाच क्वचिचा शेष दोष निषदना ट्रांसलेशन एंड प्रपर्ट बाई ग्रेस शील ट्रांसलेशन समटाइम्स द लिविंग एंटिटी इज इंटरेस्टेड in the yellow stool known as gold and runs after it that gold is the source of material opulence and envy and it can enable one to afford illicit sex gambling meat eating and intoxication those whose mind are over 
overcome by the mode of passion are attracted by the color of gold just as a man suffering from cold in the forest runs after a phosphorescent light in a marshy land considering it to be the fire to be fire the poet <coughs> parikshit maharaj told kalijug to leave his kingdom immediately and reside in four places brothels liquor shops slaughter houses and gambling casinos however kalijug requested him to give him only one place where these four places are included and parikshit maharaj gave him the place where gold is stored gold in compasses the four principles of sin and therefore according to spiritual life gold should be avoided as far as possible if there is gold there is certainly illicit sex meat eating gambling and intoxication because people in the western world have a great deal of gold they are victims of these four sins the color of gold is very glittering and a materialistic person becomes very much at- attracted by its yellow color however this gold is actually a type of stool a person with a bad liver generally passes yellow stool the color of this stool attracts a materialistic person just as the willow the wisp attracts one who needs heat whatever is uh, <coughs> described in the 13th chapter of this canto that is explained again in the 14th chapter by shila sukhdev goswami maharaj parikshit asked sukhdev goswami i do not follow whatever is taught by jad bharat ji to king rahuga actually <coughs> rahuga jad bharat ji instructed king rahuga in a very brief way and like codes so maharaj parikshit requested sukhdev goswami i do not follow the proper purports of these verses kindly explain me so sukhdev goswami is now explaining the topic is a uh, <coughs> the forest of enjoyment actually that forest is suffering the forest forest of suffering that is <laughs> but sila prabhupad has translated the forest of enjoyment according to the consciousness of a living entity this is called sansar atavi or bhava atavi sometimes this material world is described as a big ocean sansar samudra bhav samudra and sometimes this is described as a great forest bhavatavi full of mountains rivers and so many bavars so many thing and actually the living entity is suffering in this material world but he thinks he enjoys that is his misconception <coughs> not proper realization so jad bharat ji said ek kwachit ch gandharva puram prapashyati kwachit kwachis cha surayol muka graham sometimes a living entity in this uh, material world sees uh, gandharva puram the palace of gandharvas falls pilas and sometimes uh, he sees 
he looks after uh, uh, Asuraya Ulmuka Graham. Ulmuka means flames, flame. Graha, there is a type of ghost that is called Pisach who vomits uh, fire from his mouth. In Hindi, in India, people say this uh, Agya Betal. Agya Betal. Agya means fire, and Betal means uh, a ghost uh, who, who does not sing properly. Betal, Betal, Bhut Betal. Betal means without Tal. One who does not know how to sing and how to speak properly he is called Betal, without Tal, without Rag. So sometimes in, in the forest people see Agya Betal and suppose that is the month of cold, winter season, so he needs fire. He needs fire and when he sees Agya Betal vomiting flames of fire from his mouth, so he wants to get that heat to avoid uh, cold. But when he reaches there, he is burnt very badly by that ghost and he cannot get uh, heat. In this way, Sukhdeva Goswami is describing that uh, in this material world the gold is like uh, Agya Betal, the Ulmuk Pisaj. And everyone wants to get it because gold is the source of all kinds of opulence and enjoyments. So he wants to accumulate gold more and more. But this is a Ulmuk Pisaj. If a person accumulates uh, money more than necessary, actually he is uh, spoiled and he is addicted to illicit sex, in intoxication, gambling, etc. So many faults arise in that person who accumulates more money than necessary. Here Sukhdeva Goswami said, Ases dosa nisadhanam. A means not and sesa means uh, left. And dosa means faults and nisadhanam, the residing place. Actually, in this material world, gold is the place where all kinds of dosas, all kinds of faults reside. And Srila Prabhupada is explaining where there is gold, surely there is illicit sex, meat eating, gambling and intoxication. So, in Srimad Bhagavatam, all the great acharyas like Jad Bharatji and Srila Sukhdev Goswami, they are teaching us that we should not uh, be allured, we should not be attracted by gold and by excess money actually. Here gold means money because every money has some value of gold. And uh, Srila Prabhupada has said that the modern currency in this world depends on gold. But actually they are claiming that they have gold behind this currency, but they have not. This is false statement by government everywhere in the world. They have not so much gold as the power of currency. So here gold means uh, money more than necessity. 
everyone needs some money and what means a necessary money means that person should have a house he should have something to eat something to drink dress and something to please his senses to maintain his family that is the necessary money but if one wants to have more than necessity then surely he is addicted to sinful activities like intoxication gambling illicit sex intoxication surely the ashes dosh nisadanam is gold is the deciding place of all kinds of dosh all kinds of sinful activities in this world we can see that uh, there are so many slaughter houses so much prostitution meat eating gambling and actually only rich persons wealthy persons can perform all these sinful activities a poor person cannot because he has no power a poor person does not have power to purchase liquor or intoxication we can see so everyone in this material world is interested to have this uh, purish visesham <coughs> a type of stool so the gosam is saying and sila prabhupad also translates that this gold is a kind of stool who is stool actually this is the stool of fire god uh, swarna gold is the informa- uh, uh, transformation of fire vikar we say in sanskrit vikar the gold swarna is the vikar of fire so vikar sometimes means a stool so this is the the gold is the stool of fire god and its color is yellow tadguna nirmit mati and the and the color of the mode of passion is also yellow red so sila prabhupad is saying that when a person suffers with a bad liver he pass he passage is stool yellow the passage yellow is stool so but uh, <laughs> we can see that in this material world this is stool is so valuable uh, so important <laughs> but uh, any person who is uh, interested in spiritual life he should not be mad after gold this gold cannot help in spiritual life rather it uh, forces a living entity to go down and down and have bad addictions like drinking so <clears throat> what is the purport what should we do actually this is taught by sukhdev goswami and uh, jad bharat ji shila prabhupad they are helping us to proceed in a spiritual life that actually in this material world any person have no should have no money uh, more than necessary otherwise he will fall down surely the money or the gold is the place where all kinds of false reside a person who has money more than necessary he becomes full of so many faults his desires develop so much but when maharaj parikshit as shri prabhupad is writing here when maharaj parikshit ordered the personality of kali he should just leave my kingdom and go out 
and Kali Juge, the personality of Kali, requested Parikshit Maharaj again and again, Maharaj, please fix some place for me where I can reside under the protection of your government. I want to stay, I want to reside according to the order of your Lordship, so please give me some certain place. Maharaj Parikshit said, I am giving you four places. Dyutam, Panam, Striyam, Suna. You should reside at that place where there is gambling. Dyutam and Panam where there is drinking. Striyam and where there is prostitution. And Dyutam, Panam, Suna where there are slaughterhouses. So Kali Yuga was searching the place in the kingdom of Maharaj Parikshit, but nowhere he could find. At the time of Maharaj Parikshit, there were no slaughterhouses or liquor shops or gambling place or anything. No illicit connection with any woman. So Kali Yuga became very morose and he again requested Parikshit Maharaj Please fix me a certain place where I can reside by your order. Please fix. So, Abhyarthi tastada tasme asthanani kale dadav dhutam panam istriya suna jatra dharma chaturvidha punas chayach manaya jat rupa madat prabhu. When Maharaj Parikshid was petitioned again and again by Kalijuk. He gave him the gold, the place gold, that was fifth place. And Maharaj Parikshit said, where there is gold, there are all four things, dhutam, panam, striyam, suna. So, at that time, the personality of Kali was satisfied. Okay. And, uh, he found a satisfactory place to stay. Sud Goswami is saying that Amuni Panchasthanani Yadharma Prabhava Kali Autrayir Dattani Nyavasatta Nideskrit. By the order of uh, the son of Uttara, Parikshit Maharaj, the personality of Kali resides in these four places, five places. So, Athai tani na seveta bhubhusa purusa kvachit. Sudh Goswami is saying that therefore any person who wants progress in spiritual life, he should never accept these five things. Athai tani na seveta bhubhusa purusa kvachit. Bhubhusa means one who desires progress in life. Bhubhusu, one who desires unnati, progress, especially in spiritual life, he should never serve all these five places. Never, kvachit, kvachit means never. In any condition of life, a person who wants uh, progress in spiritual life, he should never be addicted to these four places. Visheshato dharma silo raja lokpatir guru. Sudh Goswami is saying that in Visheshata especially Brahmins, kings and public leader and sannyasis and spiritual masters they should never serve these four, four, five places. They should never be attracted to these sinful activities. Bhubhusa Pursa Kvachit. They should never, never accumulate more money. Or, otherwise, he will fall down, surely. This is a special warning by Sudh Goswami.
Athaitani na seveta, Bhushu Purusha Kvachit. Because all these places are the original residence of Kali Yuga. He resides all these four places. All the money is necessary to maintain family, to maintain ourselves. But uh, Srila Prabhupada has translated that the gold which is stored, that is the residence of Kali Yuga. Money should come, but it should be expended in some <coughs> necessary activities. Otherwise, it causes so many falls. Bhushu purusha kachit athaitani na seveta. One should never be attracted to these five places. There are four pillars of dharma. <coughs> Tapaha, saucham, daya, satyam. Tapah means austerity, saucham, cleanliness, daya, mercy, and satyam, truthfulness. But where there is gold, there is surely no mercy, no austerity, no cleanliness, nothing. Nothing, nothing no any good qualities are there where there is gold. That is why Sukhdeva Goswami has said, Asesh dos nisadhanam. Asesh means all. Dos nisadhanam, the residing place of faults or sinful activities. So this is the warning of Shastra. In this material world a person thinks that gold or money is very, very beneficial for me. It can help me anyway to enjoy this material world. But actually, any person who has gold so much, he cannot enjoy this material world. We can see that uh, those who are very wealthy persons, they have excess of money. They are not enjoying, they are suffering. Because they are captured by Ulmuk Pisach, Agya Betal. Money is not so much necessary in this material world. After all, at the end of life we have to give up everything and go away. We have to pass away without anything. Everything will be snatched here. Mirtu Sarv Harascha. So especially one who wants to develop his love for Krishna, he should not be attracted to money and gold. Again and again in Srimad Bhagavatam, this is said that this gold, the money is the residential place of all kinds of sinful activities. Again and again it is said. In eleventh kind of Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a history of a Brahman residing in Avantika. He has said that who was the first person who said that uh, the money is earth? Who said this earth? <laughs> Sometimes money or wealth is called earth. Earth means purpose, goal, goal of life. The, he has said that actually this is unearth, <laughs> unearth, unearth means uh, uh, not earth, not prayojan, but uh, unearth means distress, misery, so many faults, unearth, those dukh. But who has said that this is earth? <laughs> And every, everywhere in India, people uh, use this word earth, the arthic samasya, the earth, earth. This is not earth, this is unearth actually for living entity. Earth is Krishna Prem, uh, Bhakti, that is Param Pursarth, Pancham Pursarth. So, in this material world, uh, 
<coughs> people are generally attracted to gold or to money. So here in Srimad Bhagavatam, this is a great warning of great acharyas that one should not be attracted to excessive money. You should be just satisfied and conduct Krishna consciousness, perform devotional service. And whatever is uh, <coughs> received by the mercy of God, Krishna, he should be satisfied and uh, perform devotional service. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Mera Pranam Svikar, please. I spoke English last year in America and again in, in this year I am speaking first time <laughs> in English. <laughs> the whole year I speak Hindi, Hindi, Hindi. Uh, please forgive me. Explain, <laughs> I just explain whatever is said in purport. <laughs> there are two concepts and two things, nyay and vyavastha. Uh, nyay means justice and vyavastha means setting, setting anything. So one can set according to time, place and candidate. The theory can be set according to different place, time, situation. Uh, but I spoke nyai, just <laughs> whatever the verse describes. <laughs> I see. Sometimes uh, we see that uh, in general dealings, people have some compromise, sometimes compromise. One person said one day, I want justice, I do not want com to compromise. <laughs> but here we have to compromise everywhere, every time. Without compromise, we cannot uh, stay in this material world, actually. We have to compromise. But uh, there must be the knowledge of justice, justice. What is proper, what is a standard, we must know. We should never ignore the standard. We can set up or we can adjust uh, our dealings according to time, place, circumstances but we must know the standard. So here a standard is described. So we can adjust according to situations. <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> we should accumulate uh, 
संत मिलन सम सुख कछ न देर इज नो ग्रेटर मिजरी दैन पवर्टी इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड देर इज नो ग्रेटर हैप्पीनेस दैन टू मीट ए सेंट्रली पर्सन साथ The greatest happiness is to meet uh, Vaishnavas, <laughs> and the greatest uh, misery is uh, povertyness, poverty, garibi. So we can accumulate money, we can do some work that is necessary, but uh, those persons who who are just after gold, after money, after increasing money, accumulating money, this. They will be spoiled. They will be ruined. Maharaj, half <laughs> commentary, this year. Give us. It appeared when Lord Krishna left this planet. So nowhere is college only on this earth, and he has his time to rule this this world. So after the departure of Lord Krishna, he appeared here. But uh, as long as Maharaj Parikshit was emperor, he could not rule. When Maharaj Parikshit left, then it ruled. Described already. <laughs> Actually, I do not follow <laughs> what you said. He was saying, "How do you get a taste for the holy name?" How to get taste of the holy name? By chanting, by singing, the taste will develop, and especially when we chant in the association of a great devotee. In his presence, then taste develops. Speak loudly, some. <laughs> Uh, servant, 
and I must uh, guard his uh, this family that he has given me. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur said that Prabhupada mentioned this is amongst us, uh, that I have to work hard to protect that family. I will earn money to uh, bear the expenses. I will work hard to earn more money to uh, make them uh, comfortable. And the whole song of Saranagat is wonderful. I don't see anything wrong of uh, earning money. Who says that? Is no, I'm not saying the but, but, but to see that way is very comfortable. It's good. It's the sign of emotional service. But I say that one should never be attracted to gold. Whatever is done by Bhakti Vinod Thakur, that is the standard of the Vaishnava. Because he did everything for the pleasure of Krishna, to satisfy Krishna. But here, as Jad Bharatji or Sukhdev Goswami are saying that this gold is the uh, place of all kinds of sinful activities, so one should avoid this. That, that is also the similar teaching as Bhakti Vinod Thakur did. We can understand. <laughs> but whatever is said in this verse, actually we should accept. We should just not avoid or reject this idea. And whatever is described at the present moment, we must accept it. We should not have a tendency to cut down the idea just spoken by Sudev Goswami or Jalbharaji or Sud Goswami in the name of devotional service. We must accept this statement at this time. And that is another statement, how to use money and how to serve Lord Krishna in different ways. That is, that is the fact, but this is also the fact. <laughs> and devotees sometimes do not tolerate some statement in Srimad Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita, but we must accept <clears throat> These uh, theories are not different theories actually. Bhakti Vinod Thakur did whatever he did and whatever is spoken by Sukhdeva Goswami. They, they are similar. But Sukhdeva Goswami does not uh, wear coping also. He is naked. He has no his ashram. Nothing. But he is proper as his place, and Bhaktivinoda Thakur is proper as his place. Like uh, Prahlad Maharaj, Ambrish Maharaj, Yudhishthir Maharaj, they have so much money, so much gold, but actually they were not attached to gold or kingdom. As soon as Maharaj, Ambri, Maharaj Yudhishthir heard that Krishna left this king, this earth, he, de- he immediately gave up his kingdom with his brothers and he went to Himalaya. <laughs> as soon as he heard that Krishna is not now on the earth. This is the standard of great uh, kings and uh, Vaishnavas like Bhartavira Thakur. But that is not uh, something contrary to this uh, statement. You can understand this. Mm. I was thinking uh, <coughs> that, uh, there's, there's Lakshmi and there is money. So and then there's, there's a Ravan and there is Hanuman. Mm. Ravan is trying to separate that Lakshmi from Ram, turn that into money and exploit it, enjoy it. While there is Hanuman who is trying to spiritualize, of course Sita is always spiritual. Ravan has no power to so he's trying to bring that uh, Lakshmi and offer it at the lotus feet of Ram or engage that in service of uh, Ram. And Sita is also golden. 
to Ravan like people you know, that are attracted to that and they try to exploit, enjoy. But uh, as a result, there's a suffering. The forest of enjoyment, Prabhupada did not say forest of suffering. It did say forest of enjoyment because enjoyment, what happens next? In the suffering, so. <laughs> so it's a forest of suffering. And so those who try to, uh, so some try to enjoy uh, money and some try to en engage Lakshmi to service of uh, the Lord. So you are talking of Nyai, the justice. <laughs> no, actually, whatever is described in this verse, this time, this time, actually, the faults of gold are described here. So we have, actually I was trying to emphasize the faults of money, faults of gold on earth. That was the topic, but uh, some devotees are trying to describe the qualities a uh, good side of money. <laughs> and actually they can describe. That is also the fact. But actually in this verse, which is explained here, it describes the faults of money. Uh, that is another thing that if not used in Krishna's service of this, that, <laughs> that is vyavastha, that is setting, adjustment. Everyone is uh, independent or everyone can adjust according to his situation, just like as, as Sesa Prabhu said, that we need money for family, this, that, that. And even we see that Maharaj Yudhishthir has so, had so much gold, he performed Rasuya Jagya, Asumedh Jagya. In Asumedh Jagya, Tons and tons of gold are required. Gold is required. It is said in Mahabharata, but he had. But actually, Maharaj, <laughs> this is the problem in Bhagavad class everywhere, that whatever is described at that moment, devotees do not accept. Just they avoid and something, they want to hear something, other, this, that. Actually, we should accept as it is what is said in the verse. And in next time or in next verse, when it comes that Nirbandha Krishna Sambandha Jukta Vairagya Ucchyate That can be adjusted according to time, place. But here, the time and place of Srimad Bhagavatam, according to the verse, we must accept the faults of gold and money. When we hear, especially the instructions in this chapter and the last chapter, they're hard to hear, as you said, they're, they're hard to think. We may think that, uh, I can't hear this, this is too uh, hard for me to hear. But does that mean that we're insincere or something, as being devotees? Or? What? No, no, no. <laughs> it is not that if if one does not want to hear, he is not sincere. It is not. But actually, all devotees, especially in our Hare Krishna movement, Skar, they are in uh, aves, aves or abhinivesh. Abhinivesh means they have some aim. They have some devotional aim to complete that. So anything they hear, they, they want to adjust according to their aim. To, I, I have to accomplish this task, this, that, that. That is good. There must be a Vinivesh in devotional service. There must be a waste. There must be some aim. That is very nice. But sometimes if at the slokas, verses teach something different, we, we must uh, give attention to that also. Yes, this is saying fact. 
I do not say that everyone should just adopt this way of life and whatever he has gold, he should just give up or give in charity to others. Everyone is intelligent, actually, he can adjust according to situation, place, time. So I, actually, I cannot adjust. <laughs> Everyone can adjust according to family, institution, circumstances. That matter depends on you, <laughs> particularly. But I just explain whatever is said in verse. Adjustment is another thing. <laughs> Hare Krishna, let us finish here. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much.